Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today we will continue series regarding uh, legendary hero uh, guides. A lot of you asked me to do a whaling guide and um, I will do that today. We will speak more generally regarding the legendary hero, magic hero whaling, how to use him and what's uh, the best idea of building him and how you can generally get him. First of all, we need to understand uh, how to get Welin, uh, how to upgrade uh, his skills. And there is a two ways of getting Welin uh, from the gold chests. And you can see there is like limited amount of uh, legendary heroes you can get from the gold chest. And one of them is Welin. And also you can get from the uh, VIP shop. Yeah, like as simply any other hero which you currently own, you can get one uh, token per day. So if you will like uh, compare it to the Foron deal or Freigar, they can't get you can't get them from the gold chest, uh, which means you can get uh, well in and upgrade his skills in a much faster way than a uh, lot of other legendary heroes. Also, mages are one of the most popular. Uh, unit type in the game and Lenin is like widely usable in any type of uh, situations in the game. Uh, in order for us to understand why Lenin is so usable and why he is so good, we need to understand what, their, what his skills does and what kind of synergies uh, these skills has to each other. First of all, like any other first skill to the legendary hero, it's a skill damage factor, uh, like 1200. And what's interesting about this spell is like it inflicts freeze and reduces, it's reducing the, their march speed by 20%. Uh, like 20% reduction in march speed is great simply because uh, mage units are like highest range units and whenever you are attacking somebody with from the highest range and if you are reducing their march speed it's easier for you to catch up and deal more damage second skill is all, all about like uh, more damage and here you can see you are getting more march speed for yourself up to 20 percent like you are uh, reducting the march speed of the enemy for the 20% and you are gaining the march speed for 20%. You can also like easily see synergy here. Um, like third skill is a yet again passive skill. Like it's all about magic units. Like you are, get, you are giving your mage units crit bonus and defense bonus, which is kind of cool, kind of nice, not amazing, but a good thing to have, right? And the fourth skill is like magic uh, defense reduction, like one of the best things to have on a, uh, any mage uh, hero, right? And again, more uh, march speed reduction. If we will count like 20% here, 20% here, like reduction, and you are getting 20% for yourself. Uh, regarding like passive skill, it gives like frozen an additional magic damage factor, like 400 more damage to the Wailing Kit. So like in general, uh, what's amazing about this hero is that it's usable uh, in the battlefield, like every skill, there is no garrison skill, there is no peacekeeping here, like magic, PvP and control. Control we understood why, because you are reducting the enemy uh, march speed and you are gaining for yourself that's all about that that's like main reason why it's control and like it, you can ask like what kind of heroes would be great with the welling but there is a one surprise welling is not that amazing as a primary hero uh, because of this control uh, tree uh, welling is amazing as a secondary hero like, in order for you guys to understand what I'm talking about, for example, like, heroes where Velin will be amazing is, like, Waldir as a primary hero and Velin as a secondary, simply because, like, uh, uh, Waldir has a skill, uh, uh, talent tree, and regarding the talent trees, I will uh, explain later in the video, but... First of all, uh, Waldir and Welin is amazing, uh, like uh, when you're gonna have magic uh, and skill or like skill talent tree on a Waldir and also it's easy for you guys to upgrade uh, on a Waken skin uh, Waldir because well, if you are a League of Order player, you are getting tokens through the quests. If not, like there is a lot of ways to get epic heroes awakened, and your uh, priority should be Waldir if you are a if you are a mage player. So, like awakening skill of the Waldir is like 
you are dealing damage to two enemy legions, which is amazing, right? Like everything about Walder is damage. You are dealing damage with every uh, magic, every skill, and the awaken skill deals two legion. Also, like from here, we are giving like control to Walder, reducting like march speed of the enemies and gaining for yourself more. Another uh, hero pair for the Welin is of course uh, Lilia and Welin, simply because Lilia is like yet again better version of the Walder, dealing a lot of damage, and it's good to have something like as a secondary hero like Welin to give it control to the mages to redu reduce the enemy's march speed. So anything that's gonna give a lot of damage uh, with the Welin will be amazing. So, like, there is two heroes in the mage section, in my opinion, who are dealing uh, highest amount of uh, damage in any part of the game, which is first Lilia, and second one is Walder. Well, I don't have Lilia because I'm a 100% free-to-play player, that's why I can't cannot speak much about her, but I have seen her in Battlefield and I know she has magic and skill, that's already enough for me to understand that this hero will be great if I will ever have her. Like, with the Alwyn and with the Atheist, I don't think there is a, like, best pair uh, here, but if you want to go, like, full control uh, build, you can, of course, run Alwyn and Welin and be uh, as annoying as possible. Uh, but, like, better choices are always, like, uh, Walder and Welin, Lilia and Welin. Regarding, like, talent trees... Uh, uh, if you want to run Welin uh, as a primary, uh, like I would suggest you to go to the magic tree because like control tree is not amazing to have on a primary hero. But if you will still decide to go uh, as a primary, go magic uh, until the full and half until the PvP. Uh, like Welin has enough uh, control in his kit uh, for you to upgrade anything here. But <clears throat> And that's like the only thing we can speak about like talents of Welin because in my opinion Welin is amazing as a secondary hero and as you understand and as you should already know secondary heroes talents doesn't really matter they don't do anything it's just for you to click here uh, what matters is primary hero talents that's the only thing matters during uh, in the legion and in the battlefield so if you will still decide to run Welin as a primary Go to the like run uh, maximum on a magic tree and go to the PvP in a half. That would be my suggestion. Uh, regarding like <clears throat> artifacts uh, for Welin, uh, if you will run it as a primary, uh, like any other artifacts for the mage units, I will be amazing for this hero. Like first choice is Phoenix Eye. This is like one of the greatest uh, artifacts in the game for mages. Uh, like pure damage, pure magic unit attack, legion attack, everything like everything about mages are regarding uh, damage and attack. So uh, Phoenix Eye will be great. <clears throat> if we will go down to the epic tree, there is one actually, uh, in my opinion, best uh, epic artifact in the game is Magic Bomb. Um, because like, uh, again, damage factor, uh, Magic unit attack, legion attack, any everything what this uh, epic artifact has is usable in the battlefield. So it's 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 great. Uh, like what else should be interesting regarding mages? Well, I'm sure it will be easy for you guys to get a magic bomb, and after that try to get any artifact which gonna give you a lot of damage. Like for example, Phoenix Eye. There is another one, but it's not. Uh, uh, it's not for the free-to-play players, unfortunately, like as you can see. And another way of playing uh, with the artifacts, uh, like I have Tear of Arbon, and it's very, very usable artifact, like during some events, uh, during Dragon Trail, during like a, even like statue fights, anything in the game you want to heal, uh, this gives heal, it will be better if you will have a lot of levels here, but unfortunately it's not easy for us to get artifacts, legendary artifacts in general. But like if you want to go to the more defensive style, like magic unit defense, legion defense, and hero is healing. This can be also viable and for quests and for like in general uh, features in the game will be usable in my opinion. Like regarding uh, <clears throat> uh, Warpets, um, I have already done 
warped guides like every single warped part by part and I won't gonna go in deep for why I think these warpeds will be great for the uh, whaling but in my opinion there is like simple choice uh, Sapphire Drake with Pain Bloom will be good just simply because it's gonna deal a lot of damage uh, like Pain Bloom is strictly damage uh, skill for the warped uh, another uh, one will be uh, for the whaling Ice uh, Lizard will be great simply because that again you are uh, your skill is orbs and orbs gonna deal a lot of damage if they don't if they can't move and with welling you are reduction reducting the march speed of the enemy so the orbs gonna deal uh, more and more damage um, I think that's the two warpeds will which gonna be great uh, for the welling uh, like there is a wide uh, variety of warpeds in the game maybe you will build a new warped for you and it will be work for you that's totally fine but I'm speaking from my own experience and that's why I'm uh, talking in my video like we already spoke regarding how to get Welling we already spoke about his kit we spoke uh, regarding uh, hero pairs, talents, uh, artifacts and warpeds um, I think that's it, like, that's my opinion regarding Welin, that's my guide. I hope you like this video, uh, I will continue doing what I have done already for, like, past six months. Uh, thanks for, for, for watching, and bye-bye!